Hello, Anavoltos here, and this is not Minecraft, this is Mindtest, which is a free open source thing similar to Minecraft. Uh, I was looking for some cool open source games, and I found this, and don't worry, I still have Minecraft, it's not like I've been booted or anything, no, nope, none of that has happened, but I just logged on here, uh, this is uh, vanilla, of course, um, the game says that it's designed to be modded, so most of the time you probably won't be playing vanilla if you're playing this game, because there isn't actually that much to vanilla at the moment, but I logged in, I walked around, and then I saw this cliff, uh, and I have to say that I really do love this world generation. This world generation is amazing. I love it. Um... Whenever do you see cliffs like this in Minecraft? Not very often. So, this is amazing world generation. Furthermore, uh, I think the graphics are good. Wow, that's actually pretty tall. What is this? Uh, let's see, this is jungle grass. Okay. So, I can tell that the game isn't fully developed in everything. There's still a lot of things that need to be done. And I believe that yeah, the current stage there aren't really any mobs and there isn't food but you can take damage and I have discovered that you can take uh, both uh, falling damage I jumped off there or and as well as drowning damage I'm not sure if there's lava I might be able to check that if I make a pickaxe um, uh, let's take that out let's see is it the same as it is in Minecraft might be. I made a sword and it was the same, so pickaxe should be similar, yes. So let's take a look. Okay. As expected, a wooden pickaxe does not actually do very well. Uh, I would not have expected any more, uh, but it is nice to have a full-sized crafting area. Okay, these do stack. That's good. So I'm assuming that stone pickaxes exist. Yes, they do. So I'll just upgrade to that. And uh, the inventory button is I, which is different from Minecraft. Minecraft is the common E. I suppose the reason it's E is that it's closer to uh, this is much faster. Uh, e is closer to uh, the WASMD, which makes using I a little bit awkward, but the commands can be changed. You can change the controls if you want to. But I'll keep it as it is just for now. Anyway, this is rather interesting. Just a... Uh, going to see if I can mine some coal in the cliffside. Uh, I can hold shift. Does shift allow me to stay on the edge? Yes, it does. Okay, so this is a lot like Minecraft. Now I believe the night cycle is going to begin. I don't see any coal up here, so I'm just going along here, trying to grab some coal, and perhaps after that I might decide to go down. Uh, underground, see if I can find lava, see if I can take lava damage. I don't know if there is lava. Uh, I probably should have checked that, actually, now that I think about it, but, oh well, who cares. But, currently, there doesn't really seem to be a food system in the game, as I may have said earlier, but there is a mod for that, which I might install, perhaps, for another video. So, I'm not really trying to make this a full series, uh, but I suppose I'll call this a review. So this is Mind Test, a game similar to Minecraft. And ah, there's some coal right there. That's what I was looking for. Let's grab some. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Coal lump is what it's called. And it is rather lumpy. Oh, I'm about to run out of this pickaxe. Okay. 
so that was cool. I don't think there there's any mobs on vanilla, so there won't be any problem with me staying out at night, except for maybe uh, the darkness issue. But my screen brightness is pretty high at the moment, so I'm not really having too many problems. Okay. Let's come up here. Some more coal down there. Yeah, I like this world generation. I think that's one thing that it has on Minecraft. I love this world generation. It's actually pretty good. Um, of course, in Minecraft, you can probably get mods to change the world generation. And you can get mods to change the world generation on my test as well. But I love these uh, steep cliff sides. That is something that really impressed me. At first, by the way, this is just an impromptu video, in fact. I was just uh, playing the game and I saw these cliff sides, uh, the other ones that you've seen earlier. And I decided, wow, I actually like this. So why not record this while I'm at it? So anyway, as you see, there's nothing going on at night. Uh, the moon looks a little bit like the Minecraft moon, but is a little bit different. The clouds look a lot like Minecraft, but uh, fair enough. Okay, let's, let's, what does these do anything is what I'm wondering. So presumably the farming mechanics would be similar to Minecraft's. So this reminds me, in fact, a little bit of Minecraft Classic, which I used to play before I had Minecraft. But uh, that's a story for perhaps another time. So can we make anything out of grass? No, we cannot. Can we make saplings? Nope. Uh, just wondering if there's anything special we can make. Black dye out of coal. Fair enough. Let's see if a furnace is made in the same manner as it is in Minecraft. I would guess so. And yes, my guess is correct. So uh, let's put this on the hotbar. Boom, this is the furnace, this is the furnace uh, UI. Uh, nice pickaxe. Let's see if we can perhaps do this, okay. The furnace lights up and the lighting does seem to be smooth lighting. It's uh, not some, oh, what's this? Okay, I get a UI for the furnace, that's nice actually does these things pretty fast. Oh, and it's more efficient than a Minecraft furnace. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's uh, nice to see though. It's nice to see that feature. So since there is a full size crafting area already, there wouldn't really be a need for a crafting bench. So just checking to make sure that nothing was going on there but we do have uh, these slabs which are useful actually pretty useful as I found out in my uh, skybox series uh, there's some uh, self advertising there some self cross advertising but let's see so one did 13 interesting number uh, <laughs> Anyone superstitious in the audience is going to perhaps not be too pleased with that. Okay, so they do have two different types of mushrooms, which is interesting to see. Uh, they also have apples. Oh, this one's inside. Oh! actually got a sapling, I believe. I believe that this is, in fact, a sapling. I should, I should use it. I should uh, examine it. Sapling, yes, it is a sapling. So trees, I suppose, can grow, which is good to note. Okay. 
and let's go down. Let's see what's down there. Let's have a look. Okay. As you can see here, I do not believe that we can actually break stone at all with our bare hands, which makes a little bit of sense. If you've uh, ever tried hitting solid rock, you would know, of course, that it is rather difficult to accomplish. Oh, my pickaxe broke, but I don't need to go up because I can just make another one right here. Wow. Wow. In fact, let's actually make a hoe as well, just to see it. So let's put the hoe there, pickaxe there. Okay, so it is a left click hoeing, right click doesn't really seem to do anything but left click does this it's not particularly useful as uh, there isn't really any oh and it also unhose itself uh, <laughs> the land reclaims itself after I've hoed it that's good to note discovering all these different game features it's a it's a road of discovery a road of joy a road of entertainment and wouldn't you look at it i'm going down by the way the game says that it doesn't really have that much of as in it, it doesn't have an altitude limit like uh, some other games have as in you can actually build really really high if you really want to uh, I have not confirmed that but let's put this there I'm too used to using the Minecraft system where the hotbar is at the bottom but we'll, we'll see okay lovely boom now we can see a little bit more But, now that I think about it, let's just dig straight down. Let's see if we can find anything interesting in the depths below. Oh. What is this? This seems to be a substance of a different matter. Let's uh, see what this is. Gravel. Okay. I expected it to be gravel. Just wanted to make sure though. Okay. We're digging straight down. I probably could have done this in creative mode and it would have uh, been a bit easier. There we go. Going lower and lower and lower. I wonder how deep it goes. Let's find out. I think it might be deeper than Minecraft. I'm not sure. Okay. Here. I suppose it is time to make another one of these. Not one of those, one of these. And let's actually get a little bit of coal in case we need it. And let's, oh, didn't mean to do that, but oh well, we'll live with it. Oh, so you have to punch it when it's underground to pick it up. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I'm getting some stone so that if I hit a lot of ores, I still have the materials required to climb back up. Okay.
let's go down. So I would presume that it actually goes pretty deep. getting pretty low oh it was just lag oops just lag did that destroy it did I just destroy it or do I pick it up uh, okay it was just lag let's get down whoa okay we have gone through and I believe that is time for me to perhaps produce Another torch. Let's take a look at what's down here. Okay, so we have some ores. And they are actually different. There's multiple kinds of ores, okay? So let's take a look at what we've got here. This is copper. Fair enough. I would presume that they might have tin as well, if they have copper. But don't want to be... Too presumptuous on that. So this is iron. Yeah, I expected that to be iron. Uh, is there anything different? Something else? Actually, let's just make a bunch more torches. Let's see, can we shift click? No, we cannot. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's put that away. So we are getting pretty low, and our entry point should be over here. In fact, right here. So let's dig a bit lower, see if we can find anything else that's a bit interesting. Okay, we're coming down. Oh, I just fell through something. see anything new so I'm going to dig a bit further in fact I should probably get some iron this is copper but we'll see what we get iron for a better pickaxe perhaps So far, I'm just getting copper. Okay. Perhaps I should have mined the iron while I was there, but oh well. We'll keep going. Let's keep going down. So at this point, I would reckon that it is, in fact, much deeper than Minecraft. Okay. Torch. Yeah, I can't even see the top anymore. I can, however, see some torches out there, some light sources. Okay. Let's make another pickaxe. Why don't we just make a bunch of sticks? We're going to use them anyway, so we're not going to use them for anything else. There's a pickaxe. And let's keep going. I really want to know where the bottom is. That is something that I really want to know. Oh, iron. Let's grab some. There, 
should allow me to make a pickaxe if I smelt that up. Okay, I can barely see, but so far nothing interesting is occurring. Nothing interesting at all, but hmm. I would say that at this point it's definitely deeper than Minecraft. Definitely. Much deeper. Which means if you make an underground base, it'll be a lot more difficult to find. I just got some more iron. Here we go. How deep does it go? Too deep. It goes too deep, really. <laughs> Let me just, uh, let's see. This doesn't tell me anything. Uh, Yeah, this is far too deep. Let's see. Do the functions do the same thing as HUD hidden is function one. Function three, FOG fog disabled. Uh, function two, chat hidden. Function four, doesn't do anything. Function five, debug info. Does that tell me my altitude? Negative altitude, okay. That actually tells me nothing about how deep the world is, but simply the fact that it's so far negative. I can say with certainty that this is definitely deeper than Minecraft, which is in fact very good because it allows or a lot more flexibility in how the game is. For example, you can decide, oh, I'm going to make some ores that are both really rare and also really deep down uh, as a mod, or perhaps you could, uh, when playing the game, put a base that's uh, pretty hidden, and it would be actually pretty difficult to f for people to find your base, uh, even if they use some sort of X-ray texture pack they still would not be able to find your base if it's just so far down. So, I guess, good thing. And uh, this is enough for now, I would say. Uh, this is just some impromptu... impromptu... Uh, review, I suppose. We'll call this a review, uh, even though this is a first view since uh, this is actually the first time I've played. Anyway, this I'm Anawiltus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then please comment. If you did, then please comment. If you ha just have anything to say, please comment. Uh, if you like my videos, if you want to see some more, especially of this game, perhaps, or if you would like to send requests and stuff for other games, uh, then comment and subscribe. Getting subscriptions is always a great motivator to keep going. And uh, if you click on ads that appear before the videos, that also does well for me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, really don't buy anything that you're not interested in. It's a, it's a <laughs> wise decision to choose what you want to wear. I'm just checking how far I can reach that. One, two, three. I'd say the fourth one is about as far as I can reach above my head, perhaps. Anyway, on that note, I will see you all next time. <laughs>